Military expert, retired colonel of the Ukrainian army, Ole Zedanov, suggested that the Chinese authorities may well implement a plan to seize the Russian Federation without war. As an option, the military expert is considering the version that instead of North Korean soldiers, Chinese special forces are being sent to Russia, of which another 15,000 should arrive there by the end of the year. The military expert voiced his version of the provision of North Korean troops to Putin. I think that this is most likely a multi-move by China to put Russia on an unremovable hook so that it cannot break loose, cannot jump off. China gives the go-ahead to North Korea. It may supply part of its ammunition, which North Korea sends to the Russian Federation. Today, the Russian Federation is 60% dependent on North Korea in terms of ammunition. Also, it provides troops, and for quite a long time, since 2019, presumably the military has been coming. And how can you tell a Chinese Special Forces soldier from a North Korean? An interesting question, right? Both language and appearance are similar. If we assume that China is providing its special forces, then they are already in the Kursk region. And in Kursk is a stone's throw from Moscow. Ole Zadanov added, at the same time, the colonel emphasized, Prigozhin covered 800 kilometers from Rostov in half a day or a little more. And here from Kursk to Moscow, it is very close. By the way, by the end of this year, 15,000 soldiers should enter the territory of the Russian Federation at four training grounds. And the Far East itself has long been assimilated by the Chinese a long time ago. Newspapers are in Chinese. Television is Chinese. Yes, China is likely unsettled by this new phase of Moscow's fast-growing alliance with Pyongyang, which, since last September, has shipped thousands of containers believed to contain munitions and other material to help replenish Russian forces' stocks. Beijing has presented itself as a neutral party regarding the war, while at the same time censoring anti-war comments on Chinese social media and providing dual-use goods to Russia, its heavily sanctioned partner. China is also a critical economic lifeline because of discounted sales of Russian natural gas and oil. China also wields considerable influence over Kim Jong-un's regime, having, for decades, propped up its state-controlled economy to prevent a regime collapse that could drive millions of North Korean refugees across the Chinese border. Special Operations Forces fighters conducted a raid on the enemy rear in the Kursk region. The video was released by the Special Operations Forces Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. It is reported that as a result of successful actions behind enemy lines, SOF soldiers of the Armed Forces of Ukraine destroyed 14 occupiers and captured three. Judging by the footage released on video, the special forces managed to sneak into the forest where the occupiers were located and carry out a surprise attack. Camouflage robes were used for additional camouflage. Taking advantage of the surprise, two occupiers were captured right in their shelter. Another was wounded in the shooting battle and decided to surrender. The use of drones for coordination is a common practice for special operations forces, and not only commercial drones but also specialized military developments are used for this purpose. Residents of Russia's Kursk region who fled from Ukrainian-held Sudza city have held a protest rally. Some 120 residents gathered in front of the regional administration in the city of Kursk and demanded that they are provided with better living conditions and that other residents remaining in the city are evacuated. They also demanded that the regional authorities acknowledge that there is war in Kursk region, stressing that they have been living under war conditions for three months. They rejected the administration representatives' offer to enter the building for negotiations. The residents were accused of holding an illegal protest. It should be recalled that Ukrainian troops launched incursion on Russia's Kursk region on August 6 where they started a military operation.
In a short period of time, Ukrainians captured more than 1,300 square kilometers of territory and took control of several residential areas, including the city of Sudza. Hundreds of soldiers of the Russian army were captured.